This week, Lab TV travels to an Air Force research lab in Dayton, Ohio, to meet an engineer who is harnessing electricity from power lines. Well, this is RAPS. This is the Remote Auxiliary Power System. And RAPS is designed to give a user the capability to tap into outdoor power lines safely and then be able to power uh, things like equipment or recharge batteries. This unusual device was designed for the Air Force, but it looks a lot like something that Batman might use. We work very closely with special operations and they came to us and said, hey, is there a way that you could possibly give us something like Batman and what he has on his belt where he can just whip something out, put it over the power line, draw that power down, recharge the batteries and allow them to stay out there longer. So that's really what initiated all this. To understand how RAPS works, first, let's see how electricity gets to your house. Most power plants burn a fuel like coal or natural gas to heat water and produce steam. The steam spins a turbine, then a generator changes that mechanical spinning energy into electricity, which is carried in high voltage transmission lines long distances to your neighborhood substation. There, transformers lower the voltage. Then distribution lines carry the electricity to the pole outside your house. Another transformer lowers the voltage again before it enters your house. Well, the power lines that come off the transformer that feed your house, your house power, these are configured so you always have an insulated wire that's actually bringing electricity to your house and then a bare wire that takes it away. The way the wrap head works is it will make two direct connections into the power line. The first connection is through this razor blade right here that will pierce the insulation into the line power. The next connection will be made to the bare wire on the power line and it will touch this bare spot on the wrap's head. So as you throw this over, the razor blade will pierce into the insulation and the bare spot on the head will contact this bare wire completing your circuit. That is delivered down this wire into this custom power supply that converts it from the AC voltage to a DC voltage that is usable for the equipment that the special operation guide needs it for. AC and DC stand for alternating current and direct current electricity. Power lines deliver alternating current electricity to your outlets at home. Batteries create direct current electricity. Your cell phone charger converts the AC in your wall outlet to DC to charge its battery. Wraps can also charge batteries. It just takes the electricity directly from the power line. The operators know exactly where on the line they're to line it up. Uh, pull it down and a green light on the power supply tells you that you have uh, continuity, you have power. And that can mean a lot when you're in the jungle or the desert, miles away from an electrical outlet. Plus, wraps can work in any kind of weather. We are very concerned about safety factors such as, well, what happens if it's raining? Uh, so we actually conducted a lot of tests putting this and the power supply and even the power line that we're using underwater to find out whether it was a safety hazard. What we found is it, the way we have it designed is perfectly safe to use even when it's raining. Power lines are handy sources of electricity, but they're also dangerous, so you should never touch them or throw something over them. Even though the engineers put a lot of safety features into wraps, this device is for experts only. Research and development is an amazing field to work in, and yes, it's fun, especially when you have a lot of people saying the task that you've been given is impossible and can't be done. And then you produce something like this that shows them you know, with the right team together, it can be done. To find out more about RAPS, AC and DC electricity, and the power grid, check out labtvonline.org.